Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. Hello to Jade. How are you today? Hope everyone is doing fine at home. Today, we will continue our lesson on the same topic which is money. So, we will learn about the money literacy. We will refer to the exercise in your activity book. Please turn to page 111 and we will do activity 1. Now, we read the sentences. Look at the picture. This is Adi. Adi received 500 ringgit as an excellent student award. We need to help him to manage the money wisely. With 500 ringgit, Adi can do lots of things. There are four activities or examples already given in the exercise. So we need to put the amount of money. For example, let's say he keeps 300 ringgit in the bank. Then he keeps 50 ringgit in his money box. We just need to keep money in a small amount for emergency and also for safety. If we put all the money in the bank, it will take time to get the cash. Then, for disaster fund donation, Adi give 50 ringgit. Next, he buys his friend's food for 10 ringgit. Okay, this is just an example. You may put your own amount of money, but make sure the money is within 500 ringgit. So, you need to write another two things that he can do or buy. Okay, as an example, he can buy toys, buy present for his brother or sister, buy a new bag and many more. Teacher gives the example here. Okay, let's say he can buy a birthday present for his mother and it costs 55 ringgit. After that, he buys storybooks and toys, which the cost is 35 ringgit. Okay, you can create your own answer or things to buy with the logical cost. The amount of money must be logic so that it will be within RM 500 or 500 ringgit. After completing all the things that he can do with 500 ringgit, now we need to find how much money did he save. From the previous activity, he keeps 300 ringgit in the bank and keeps 50 ringgit in the money box. So the total saving is 350. Now, we need to find how much money did he spend. Okay, look at the sentence here. He gave 50 ringgit for disaster fund donation. He buy friends food for 10 ringgit. Buy a birthday present for his mother for 55 ringgit. And buy storybook and toys for 35 ringgit. So... The total spending is 150 ringgit. The last question is, is Adi wise in spending? Why? Give your reason. If you say yes, why? And if you say no, please explain why. So for me, I say yes because... Okay, Adi is wise in spending because he has 350 ringgit for saving from the 500 ringgit that he got. He also used his money for helping people, which is give donation, buy his friends food, and he also buy the good things. Giving present to your mother and buy storybooks are the good things that you can do. That's all for today. 
Thank you for watching. Hope you understand the lesson. Don't forget to snap and send me the task for checking. You may change your answer based on your own creativity. Thank you everyone. See you for the next lesson. Goodbye. Assalamualaikum.